Yo, 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 man. Welcome to the Wrong Answer Show. It's your boy, uh, Andre Chilton, man. We about to talk about the little recap of the week cap, baby. Um, so boom, boom, boom. Y'all, man, hope y'all had a great week. So let's start it off fresh with my courtside seats at the Mavs Thunder game through the Oculus. So boom, I jumped in the Oculus. We went courtside. Spectators, live. Oculus got announcers just for the people that's courtside, which is super duper dope. You uh, They got little trivia games, everything like that. That joint is super dope, man. Y'all definitely, definitely get you an Oculus, man, to, to check it out, man. I mean, pretty much when you start the experience, you open up your Oculus, you put it on, adjust that joint to your head. Some of y'all got chrome domes, so you get that joint adjusted. Boom. They throw you into the joint. You hit on events. When you hit events, then you can go through and pick your events. Now, the games ain't every night. You don't get an NBA game every night. So you got to really keep up with it, which you can download the Oculus Experience app. Uh, boom, that joint goes straight to your iPhone. It's got a lot of perks with that, too. So, boom, you get to your apartment. You know, you, your avatar is you. So, you know what I'm saying? You don't walk around in the same clothes every day. So, obviously, you want to make sure... Your, uh, your your avatar looking fresh and it'll fly, whatever, because at some point it'll be enough people in the Oculus. And if you somebody, somebody's going to eventually be like, yo, you always got on the same clothes. And it's going to be like, yo, it ain't that serious. But, you know, it might be that serious one day. So, boom, you put on your fit. You go out into the venue. Boom, where it was on there, six slots inside the world, the venue. So, boom, that joint was the first one on the right. I hit the first one on the right. As soon as you walk in the game, it's three different views you get. You got courtside. With your courtside view, you literally like half court, center court. The, the, the camera angle's kind of low. I wish it was a little bit higher. Um, but it's kind of dope, though. But when you hit center court, you can't see the deep corner three. Um, that's on the left or the right side. I think that's the only flaw to the Oculus on that courtside view like that. Uh, boom, then you got the behind the basket view, which I think is really dope. Uh, behind the basket, obviously, you like right there in the middle of the square. You get to really see the action. You know what I'm saying? Somebody get banged on, basically, like you, you, you're part of the poster. Like, they really need to have the avatars on the poster when somebody get banged on. But, you know, so I, I can't give away free game. You know what I'm saying? Aki going to have to pay me for that one. Um, but, boom, so you behind the jump. Uh, they got a little dope view. You know, they kind of flip it around when the other person is getting the ball. They flip the joint around. So that joint's kind of dope, too. Um, they kind of keep you in tune with the game at, at, at timeouts, halftime. Uh, the game I was at, it was Rich Jefferson and some dude looked like Peter Griffin. Uh, they were just kind of chit-chatting it up, throwing a little trivia at you, keep you interactive. They actually came out at halftime and threw on their Oculuses. And they came out and they, you know, chit-chatted with some of the people that was at the game. Um, that's pretty dope, too. That way that they just, they, they keep it all, they keep it all tied in. Plus, they can see who is attending the game. So, they actually do shout-outs to your avatar, to your person that's in the game. So, boom, they do recognize that you out there. I think that's really, really dope. Um, so, you know, I was already playing with the Oculus. So, I figured why not keep playing with it. Um, I downloaded Horizon Worlds, which is a... Another uh, app inside of the Oculus, Horizon Worlds, got different worlds that people have created. Um, that joint's pretty dope. Uh, you got like an arcade where you can go play some of these mini arcade games. Uh, it's pretty dope. You kind of got some, you got some shooting games. You can throw paper planes, uh, boomerangs, hit targets. It's kind of like a chit-chatty, kick it with other avatar area or whatever. Um, boom, so you got that little area like that, which is dope, which is dope. Me and my bandana are uh, coming all wild, this Spongebob wiggling on me, but you know, it is what it is. But, so boom, that's Horizon Worlds. Um, I found the junk called The Stew, which is dope. That's, uh, it take like 28 people can go in there at the same time. Um, it got some little, it got some glitchy type stuff jumping off because you could just walk up to the board and just change the beat, so... It really be artists in there trying to make some music from what I see. And then you got people in there that's just going to clown people to, to, that try to make music, which is, I mean, that's cool too, man. It's a virtual reality. You don't like it. You can't get bullied. Just take your headset off. But the stew is kind of dope. They play some beats. You can, you can either be the producer 
or you could be the rapper, you could be a singer, you could be whoever you want to be. That's kind of why virtual reality is what it is. Um, but I thought that was really, really dope. Um, I was also able to kind of click over, watch a wild card game. Obviously, they got the ESPN app. You got a junk called Big Screens where you can kind of tune in to some channels. Um, so to segue from that to the to the to the NFL, because at that time, you know, obviously I was watching the the Mavs play the Thunder, but the Rams was also smacking the Cardinals. So let's just segue to the Rams smacking the Cardinals. So, anyways, obviously the Cardinals hadn't been the same since they went on their little run. Um, I, I guess they really not never got it together. The Rams showed up. O, 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 Odell Beckham pretty much showed why. Baker Mayfield just won't it because, I mean, he showed up for the Rams and he showed up. Um, just to touch bases on that NFL real quick, the Bengals and Raiders, uh, boom. The Raiders pulled some slick stuff and beat the Chargers. Really shouldn't have happened, but, you know, Tiger, you know, Joe the Tiger King, he showed up, did what he do all the time. He's been doing it since LSU. Nothing no different. Uh, the Steelers and Chiefs game, the Steelers show why they clearly shouldn't have been there. They should be thanking the Raiders that they even made it. You know, but, you know, Pat Mahomes had five touchdowns in the first half. That was pretty much a wash. Cowboys 49ers game. I don't know what happened with Dak thought he had. I think he thought 14 seconds was a minute and 40. The slide, the the let me hurry up and try to spike the ball. That It was just a terrible play, terrible coaching decision. I don't know whose decision it was, but they should be fired. Um it's absolutely no reason the Cowboys lost that game. But that's all I'm going to touch on because I know y'all get all in your feelings and you get all touchy feelings. So, boom. So, Taco Bell wings, right? So, everybody was screaming about the Taco Bell wings. Somehow, some way, I missed out on the Taco Bell wings. Uh, I don't even know how I missed out on the Taco Bell wings. Like, for real, for real. I probably because I don't even fool with Taco Bell. So if they had wings, I probably won't go try it no way. But from, you know, some hungry people that fool with Taco Bell, they say that the wings were smackage. So, you know, big ups to everybody that got their wing pack from uh, Taco Bell. I mean, it's Taco Bell. You got wings from there. I mean, I guess you accomplished something that some people would never say because the wings are now gone. Uh, you know, Taco Bell, like, y'all, they handed y'all the pack of wings. Like, wow, then they, then they ain't the plug no more. Boom. I guess that's just, you know, that's plug talk. You know, we don't even understand how to plug walk. You know, that's what it is. Boom. So now we're going to just, speaking of plug talk and plug walk, my man T.I. posted a very controversial picture on his social media with his white dopes. Now, we just going to touch bases on this man's white dopes because, you know, it maybe, maybe he was just like goofing off about that jump. But... My man posted a picture of these white dopes. And when I tell you these white dopes look like he played kickball with his kids and he said he only wear white dopes one time, I want to know what that man do all day in these white dopes that them Jones look like that. They look like white dopes you would find in the Goodwill. I ain't never seen white dopes look that bad. But once again, when you got big money, you don't care, right? So naturally with the white dopes, you know what I'm saying? We tiptoeing. You know what I'm saying? We walking so them jumps don't crease. Because we got to wear these jumps 20 times. But, you know, when you T.I., you know what I'm saying? You Mr. Rubber Band Man, white dopes, white dopes. You probably got like, just, he probably buy them jumps in bulk. That's probably why we can't never find white dopes in his size. Because he probably just order them jumps when they drop. So, you know, shout out to T.I. For, for really flexing on us for absolutely no reason with that picture. All right, boom. So, something huge, right? Jay-Z has joined the reform for rap lyrics being used in court. Uh, I think that's pretty dope. Uh, I mean, obviously, if you don't know who Hov is, that's H to the is O, V to the is A. <laughs> but, boom, Hov is Hov. Uh, so for him to, to make a stance, you know, Meek and Killer Mike, and, you know, a lot of celebrities, man, they've already been fighting for this prison reform, and they've been fighting for the injustices that's going on. But for Hov to step in now... And, and try to try to really help with this reform. I think, I mean, maybe it'll go a long way. Maybe it won't, man. You know, the power, once again, is back in the people's hands. Um, basically, you know, it's been too long where, you know, a rapper, 
a rapper, I mean, let's, let's face it, at the end of the day, a rapper is a person. All right, now whether they did, the, they did the dirt, they did the crime, they sold the drugs, they shot whoever, they got a body, they got teardrops. You know what I'm saying? Maybe if you know them personally, maybe it's real, maybe it's not. I mean, we want to learn a very valuable lesson with Takashi 6 9 right? I think he learned a very valuable lesson. If you ain't about it, don't be about it, don't talk about it, don't act like it. But there's a lot of cats that's been about it, you know, and they rapped about their past. Um... And, you know, the court system is so crooked, man. They take their entertainment and they throw it back in their face. Um, I think that the reality check of it is, man, you know, for years with entertainment, man, and especially the rap industry, man, artists have been telling on themselves, uh, not necessarily, you know, for clout or not necessarily to, to incriminate themselves, but... You know, you go through, uh, you you make some bad decisions. Sometimes they didn't want a bad decision you made. It was just a decision you made. So, you know, they, they done had some decisions that they made, and that's how they got where they at. I mean, and big ups to them, you know what I'm saying? Because, I look, look, if I can get paid for my voice, my by God, I tell my story too. That junk going to be boring. It's going to be like, you know what I'm saying? I was an average kid, you know what I'm saying? Went to school, ate school, lunch, came home. Played recreational sports, you know what I'm saying? Went off to, to middle school, you know, got bad grades, got in a couple fights, boom, changed my life around, got straight A's, played games, high school, and we ain't gonna touch on high school. Y'all don't need to know what I did in high school. I was a little wild, but you know, that is what it is. But like I said, big ups to, to the reform that they trying to get jumping off right now, because I think that's gonna be really, really huge. Um, a lot of artists are struggling with the fighting that same battle. Um, and you know, once again, man, the justice system has just been, it's just been against the entertainment industry for years. Anybody that's making power moves, they, they just really been on top of them. Um, so, you know, hopefully a change is made. If it's not made, you know, we just need to keep adding people. We got to add celebrities. We got to add power. At some point, maybe they'll hear us. Um, you know, these these same these same white collar criminals, man, that do stuff in their past, right? They forgiven for it, but you know you 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 look at it and let's face it, man. Sometimes it is black and white, and sometimes that is what it is. You know, I'm I, I have a very controversial stance on that. That is something completely different. We definitely gonna touch on that topic at some point during one of my podcasts, but we ain't gonna touch on it right now. But you know. So the same crime, crimes ain't looked at the same, man, based off of how you look. That's that's where we're going to stick with it. That's that's the narrative we're keeping it at because, you know, we don't want to go into that whole black and white thing. That's kind of where they want us to be at anyways. I ain't for it. All right. Boom. Whoo. So we got that off our chest. So now we're going to touch on my guy, Brody Westbrook, with the big body bang on Gobert this week. Now, crazy, crazy, right? It's crazy how this cat is being torn down, right, for averaging triple doubles for the last God knows how long. The triple double, triple double record holder in the NBA, right? Hall of Famer. You, you can't not have him in the Hall of Fame. And he out here, and he, you know. He got some, he having some bad games. You know, this ain't, this ain't his best. You know what I'm saying? He ain't playing his best. It is what it is. But catch out this joint, like taking him back to earth. Like, look, bro, you, you, you with LeBron there. The pressure's different, man. When you hit that lay, the pressure's different, man. Just prime example, look at Brandon Ingram. That cat's a superstar down there with the Pelicans. You look at Lonzo Ball. Lonzo Ball, that cat is, you know, he, his, his game is going through the roof. I mean, even Kuz out there, John, looking halfway decent for the Wiz. Like, so, you know, Julius Randle, his superstar for the Knicks. Sometimes getting away from the Lake Show and that pressure, man, it ain't for everybody. Uh, I think they got the right man for the job with LeBron. It just seemed like pressure and hate been on that man back since day one. Um, so, you know, you either going to ride with him or you going to get up out of there. Because I'm going to tell you like this, man. Jim LeBron going to get you up out of there. I'm telling you, you up out of there. So, you know, shout outs, shout outs to the Lakers. But like, once again, shout out to Brody, man. And, and, and just, to, just to let you know, man, that that man is a human, man. It was a spill on, spill at, at, at the sideline from a fan, man. 
He ain't wait for the towel boy to get over there, man. Brody grabbed the joint. He went over that joint. He was getting this brush down joint on, man. He dried it up. You know, all laughs and smiles, man. That man's a human being, man, which is a reality check for some of y'all that like to tear some of these athletes down, man. Um, you know, half of, half of the battle, man, is the pressure and the fans, man. We the cause of a lot of stress for them. Understand if you pay to see them, yeah, we want to see them perform at a high level. But at the same time, bro, everybody's entitled to have a bad game. Everybody's entitled to have a bad moment. Um, these guys are being asked to perform night in and night out with practice. Now, I'm not getting on my soapbox about athletes because let me tell you something. If I go to a later game, y'all but the ball scout. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm going to say. If I fly from the East Coast to the West Coast, and you don't ball? Oh, man. If you don't ball, I promise you, my guy, I am going to be an upset fan. I'm going to pull a Cleveland Cavalier fan and burn your jersey. Whoever made you lose the game. And I ain't even a Laker fan. But I'm telling you, if I fly all the way to, I was going to say the Staples Center, but it ain't even the Staples Center no more. If I fly all the way to Crypto.com Arena, and you play bad, oh, I'm going to be upset. I could have watched you on the Oculus, courtside. <clears throat> hey, excuse the cough. I don't have the vid. Just talking too much. I ain't even forgot to bring my water in here. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, let me get a water. Uh, you know what? He ain't even listening to me. But all right, cool. Boom. So back on that reality check. They just people. Now, let's, let's even go further into that with my man Kyrie. Boom. Kyrie, man. This man has held out. Now, I ain't saying held out as in like an issue. I mean, like he held it. He's standing his ground, which is, I mean, big ups to Kyrie, bro. Hey, you need to shut up and play ball. Nizzle, his statement has been strong. His statement has been so strong, he went from being a part-time NBA player. Hey, you know what? You can play in away games because you Kyrie, and we feel you, man, to now – the Nets is like, yo, we'll pay the fine. Get this man on the court. That's star power. But that's not just star power. That just shows willpower. This man was willing to take whatever lumps he had to take to, to say, yo, I stand for something. And I'm not going to change it, bro, because y'all cut me a check. Because at the end of the day, man, these, man these, these men are millionaires, right? Now, I couldn't stand on that. You know what I'm saying? I probably, you know, if I didn't want to get the vid shot, I probably had to go get another job because... I really won't trying to get it, but I got the vid shot. I mean, it won't that bad. I ain't turned into a zombie or an alien or nothing. But, you know what I'm saying? I say that to say, you know what I'm saying? If you want to get it, go ahead and get it. If you got health issues, man, talk to your, your, your peoples about it. So back to Kyrie, though. Anyways, well, whole, whole jumped off topic. We ain't even going there. So Kyrie in Cleveland. Fan hackling him on his back, bro. He turns around and says, man, I got y'all a championship and y'all MFers is still ungrateful. Now, if the lesson ain't been learned from LeBron James, I don't know who you going to learn it from. Yo, you a pawn on the chessboard. They don't love you. They love what you can do for them, my mans. You smarter than that, man. But at the same time, I respect your stance on everything you do because one thing about my man Kyrie, he is going to say exactly how he feels when he feels that way. Big shouts to him. Um, all right, so let's bounce off my man Kyrie a little bit, man, because you know what I'm saying? We ain't trying to get that man more famous than he is. I need him to pass some of his fame to me so, you know what I'm saying, I can get my fam, you know, living good or whatever. So, boom. We're going to talk to my man Corday. First of all, shout outs to my man Corday for dating the, the wonderful, wonderful tennis player that she is, Miss Naomi. You know what I'm saying? Big ups, bro. You got you one. You better ride and, and, and enjoy that relationship because she seems like she's super cool. All right? Boom. He drops on the album. He dropped the album this week. Y'all might have already heard the song Gifted. And if you already got the album, I'm sure you vibing with his album. It's super duper crazy dope. Um, the intro to his album got Simba on it. Some of y'all don't know. Some of y'all guys 
may not be hip to who Sumba is, but Sumba back in like 2016, 2017, he was it. Rapper out of Be More, you know what I'm saying? Boss, lyricist, he can rap, bro. He was he was tough. I mean, he he doing a bed right now, you know what I'm saying? Some unfortunate circumstances. But if you ain't know who Sumba was, now you know who Sumba was. But just to touch on my man Corday's album, bro, you know, I, it's not many artists that you hear come out the box, bro, come out the bag with features like Lil Wayne, Eminem, Parks, Stevie Wonder, Nas, Richie, Richie, Roddy Rich. You know what I'm saying? That cat got beats made by J. Cole, Dr. Dre. He's definitely the album of the week. He might be January's album of the month. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I've been, I was, I listened to a couple songs a day. Obviously, Gifted, like, I had heard it before, but I didn't know who he was. So now it's kind of like, yo, Apple Music, download the album. Spotify, get the album. You know what I'm saying? So, boom, if you ain't heard of him, you ain't, you ain't never heard nothing like it, you know what I'm saying? I do recommend that y'all, y'all try to, don't bootleg my man album, bro. These artists need every single dollar they can get every stream man i know how y'all be out here with lime wire and this that and the third now i ain't gonna say that i once want that guy but i'm saying don't be that guy but just so if you haven't heard gifted i'm gonna play a quick segment of it you just just vibe to it real quick let's see what we got boom <laughs> Yeah, so by the way, that's Core Day. Y'all make sure y'all go go get the album, stream the album, Spotify, Apple Music. I'm sure he on all the platforms, man. He's a really dope artist. So far, so good. Now, once again, you know that 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 freshman album most of the time go crazy. Um, let's see how his follow up game is. Um, you know what I'm saying? It it it. Hopefully, man, that man's follow-up album going to be tough. You know what I'm saying? He going to get it in. Um, and, and, you know, I guess to sum this whole joint up, man, I I, I want to touch bases on what it is to watch, right? So, obviously, man, everybody's been, you know, binge-watching everything. And I mean everything. But if you haven't watched it, don't watch season four. Watch one, two, and three. That is Ozarks. Tomorrow, Netflix. Ozarks drops, bro. Season four, bro. Season four, Ozarks. Let me say it again. Season four, Ozarks, bro. If you ain't been on it, bro, Ozarks. I'm telling you, bro. That's it, bro. That's 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 the Netflix show right there, bro. Of the month, hands down, Ozarks, bro. Watch it. Season four. It dropped them all on Netflix. If you're hitting your mans up and you ain't hip to it and he don't pick up, it's probably because he on his sofa. You can't even Netflix and chill while Ozarks is on. That don't have you locked. You know what I'm saying? It just lets you know what it is. I ain't going to give no details on the show. All I'm going to say is Netflix, Ozarks. Do not start on season four. Watch that joint from season one if you ain't started. Don't get on social media. Because season four, Cat's going to be ruining it, a whole joint for you. Watch it from beginning to end. So if you're going to watch Ozarks, yo, I binge watch season one of Ozarks, bro. And one day, I woke up early, seven in the morning. I ain't turned that joint off to eight at night. I watched every single episode in one day. That's how I binge watch. I don't know how y'all binge watch. And the only reason it took a little longer because you had to use the bathroom. I had to get something to eat. I ain't even get up, you know what I'm saying? I had the door dash, but that's what it is, though. Ozarks, make sure y'all watching that on Netflix, man. Once again, this is the Wrong Answer Podcast by Andre Chilton. Thank y'all for tuning in. Boom. If you're watching this joint via YouTube, the podcast will be up on Spotify tomorrow. Once again, that's Wrong Answer Podcast by Andre Chilton. Bro, we're going to bring it to you. We're going to have a video uploaded on Thursday nights. 
We're going to have the podcast uploaded on Fridays. Bro, get with me or get gone. I will be looking for some artists. You ain't got to be famous. You just got to be an artist. I will be looking for artists, photographers, business owners, entrepreneurs, all that, bro. We about to be live. I want to hear somebody that just got out of a relationship. I want to hear somebody that's in a deep relationship. I want all that. We about to bring everybody in on the podcast. We about to get real, real, real tempted and te- and, 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 and upset in this joint. But you know what I'm saying? It's going to be all love, bro. Ain't nothing like a healthy debate. Boom. So make sure you hit the inbox. Hit the inbox on the Instagram. Hit the inbox on the Twitter. You know what I'm saying? If you didn't subscribe on the YouTube, go hit that subscribe button on the tube. Boom, hit the follow on the gram, hit the follow on the on the Twitter. Cats out here, bro. We got a network. We got to get it together. Once again, thank y'all for tuning in. Love y'all. I'll see y'all later. We out. You're now listening to Wrong Answer by Andre Tilton. <laughs>